Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain about the orthogonal trajectories. OT orthogonal trajectories. In orthogonal trajectory, first, what is the definition of orthogonal trajectories? And what are the applications of orthogonal trajectories? First, I will tell you. And then in orthogonal trajectories, we have two forms. One is Cartesian form, and another one is polar form. Uh, about these two, I will discuss. Now, orthogonal trajectories. Now, what is mean by orthogonal trajectories? What is the definition? Two family of curves that may be any family of curves. Two family of curves such that every member of one family cuts each member of another family curves at right angles. At right angles are called OT orthogonal trajectories. Two family of course that may be any two family of course each member of one family cuts another member of family of course at a right angle. This is one family of course and uh, this family of course at each member of a one family of course cuts another family of course at a right angle at a right angle 90 degrees cuts a right angle then it is called orthogonal trajectories orthogonal trajectories of each other this is the diagram now here you have to remember that means uh, these two curves are orthogonally uh, orthogonal trajectory means uh, it cuts uh, every member at right angle right angle means uh, the the first curve slope is m1 second curve slope is m2 if you think m1 m2 is equal to m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 we know the slopes m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 that means m1 is equal to minus 1 by m2 now just to remember this one m1 m2 because these two curves family of curves are orthogonal it cuts each member uh, of a, another family of curves at right angle that means m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 m1 m2 means the slope of the first curve so the slope of the second m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 m1 is equal to minus m1 m, uh, minus 1 by m2 just remember and first we will discuss the application and then we will go to the uh, problems how to do while uh, discussing the problems i will tell you about this again applications in which fields we can apply this ot orthogonal trajectories uh, in ele uh, electric fields the paths along the current flows are orthogonal trajectories of equipotential curves now here in this electric field also these are uh, uh, ot orthogonal trajectories because uh, each curve um, cuts every member of another curve at right angle whenever it cuts at right angle then we say that it is ot orthogonal trajectories another uh, example Mm, is also in this in this form in fluid mechanics the streamlines uh, and equipotential lines the streamlines and equipotential lines are OT orthogonal trajectories now here in orthogonal trajectories we have two forms I told you uh, one is uh, Cartesian form another one is polar form when will you say the given curve uh, curve is a Cartesian form when will you say the given curve in the Cartesian form if the given curve is in terms of x and y if the given curve is in terms of x and y and some constant like that when we this then we say that it is in the cartesian form if the given curve is in terms of r terms theta and some constant r terms and theta and some constants then we say that this is in the polar form cartesian form it must contain only x terms y terms and some constants that's all now we will see the problem of cartesian form the first problem Find the orthogonal trajectories of the semi-cubical parabolas a y square is equal to x cube where a is a parameter where a is a parameter here find the ot orthogonal trajectories of family of semi-cubical parabolas a y square is equal to x cube the given family of curve is uh, the given family of curves is a y square is equal to x cube a, a is a parameter the solution how to do the solution i will tell you now whatever the given family of curves given curve given family of curse a y square is equal to x cube whatever the given problem write down uh, the given uh, given equation now differentiating with respect to i'll tell you the process i'm telling you the procedure in this form only you have to do a y square is equal to x cube differentiating with respect to x uh, y square b, uh, a into 2 y square becomes 2 y dy by dx is equal to x cube now uh, 
this is equation to now a y square is equal to x cube therefore implies a is equal to x cube by y square we can write now we have to will we have to we have to eliminate eliminate a from 1 and 2 if is there any constant occurs we have to eliminate that constant here some constant we have that's why we are eliminating a if there is no constant no need to eliminate that constant whenever the constant occurs in the given equation then we have to we must eliminate that constant first of all now here we have one constant that's why i'm going to eliminate a eliminate we have to eliminate a from 1 and 2. How to eliminate a from 1 and 2? Substitute a value in the equation 2. Substitute a value in equation 2. How much is a? a is x cube by a is x cube by y square into in equation 2 I am substituting a value. 2y dy by dx is equal to x cube. x cube x cube cancel on both sides y y cancel how much you will get you will get a 2 by y into dy by dx is equal to is equal to how much you will get if you differentiate with respect to x 3 x square 3 x square you won't get cancel 2 one minute remaining 3 by x we differentiated with respect to x 2 into uh, a into 2y divided by dx is equal to 3x square. Therefore, you will get like this. Now, to find OT orthogonal trajectories, replace dy by dx is equal to minus dx by dy. Why I am replacing like this means... Just now I told you M1, M2 is equal to minus 1 because it cuts each member at right angle. Whenever it is right angle orthogonal, M1, M2 is equal to minus 1. M1 is equal to minus, M, uh, minus 1 by minus 1 by M2. Therefore, M1 is equal to minus 1 by M2. <coughs> Slope means here dy by dx is equal to minus 1 by m2 minus 1 by m2 means m dy by dx m1 means dy by dx if you send the dy by dx this side minus dx by dy you will get dy by dx is equal to minus dx by dy wherever dy by dx is there in the above equation you have to replace dy by dx as minus dx by dy 2 by y into here this is the equation what is this this is the equation of uh, the, the, this is the equation, a differential equation of given family of course. Remember one thing, this is the given family of course, given family of course, uh, cube, semi cubical parabolas. Now, what is this? This is the differential equation, differential equation of given family of course. To find OT, what we are doing? We are replacing dy by dx is equal to minus dx by dy, 2 by y into minus dx by dy is equal to 3 by x. Now, after replacing dy by dx is equal to minus dx by dy. Now, after replacing this one, you can apply depends on this equation. Depends after replacing dy by dx is equal to minus dx by dy. Depends on that equation. You may, uh, that may be in the, if it is in the form of variable separable, you have to substitute variable separable method. If it is in the form of exact, you have to apply exact method. If it is in the form of linear differential equation, we have to apply linear differential equation. If it is in the form of Bernoulli equation, we have to apply Bernoulli equation. After substituting dy by dx is equal to minus dx by dy, depends on the equation, we have to apply the suitable method. That may be Bernoulli, that may be linear, that may be exact, that may be variable separable. 90% of the problems we will have variable separable method. Only two uh, in a few, few typical problems only. We will get another type of method called exact or linear, something like that. Now, uh, this is, uh, can we separate the variables? We will see first. Now, if we can separate the variables, then we can apply variable separable method. Now, if you cross multiply, how much you will get? My 2 by y into minus dx by dy is equal to 3 by x we have got. Therefore, if you write in order, how much you will get? If you cross multiply, 2x dx plus 3y dy is equal to 0. If you write in order, 
2 into cross multiply and if you write in order 2x dx is equal to 3y dy integrating integral 2x dx plus integral 3y dy is equal to 0 if you integrate how much we will get 2 into x square by 2 plus 3 into y square by 2 is equal to c 2 to cancel if you uh, find the LCM, 2x square plus 3y square is equal to c. 2x square plus 3y square is equal to c. 2x square plus 3y square is equal to c. What is this? Which is the which is the OT orthogonal trajectories of given family? What is this 2x square plus 3y square is which is ellipse? which is family of ellipse ellipses this is the answer in this form you have to do find the orthogonal trajectories of a family of parabolas y square is equal to 4ax where a is a parameter now given family of course we will write y square is equal to 4ax differentiating with respect to x 2y dy by dx is equal to 4a therefore a is equal to 2y dy by dx or y dash also we can write by 4 2 ones are 2 twos are that is equal to y y dash by 2 a is equal to y y dash by 2 now eliminating this is equation 1 this is equation 2 eliminating eliminating a from 1 and 2 y square is equal to 4ax means a is equal to y square by 4x that is your wish you can eliminate a in which whatever the form here in this in this equation we can substitute a or whatever you can do now a is equal to y y dash by 2 i have got to eliminate a from 1 to what i did a so a value what is a value y square by 4x i substituted here y square by 4x is equal to y y dash by 2 2 ones are 2 twos are y y cancel therefore you, you will get y is equal to 2x y dash which is a y is equal to 2x y dash we have got which is a differential equation of a family of course now to get ot what we have to do to find ot to find orthogonal trajectories re, we will replace replace y dash y in, in terms of y y dash is equal to minus 1 by dy by y dash means dy by dx is equal to minus 1 by dy by dx minus 1 by dy by dx is minus dx by dy dy by dx is equal to minus dx by dy y dash is equal to minus 1 by y dash we will write to find ot now what we will get we will see now y is equal to 2x y dash this is the equation now in this one wherever this is the equation y is equal to 2x y dash in this equation we will write uh, both are same y dash is equal to minus 1 by y dash or dy by dx is equal to minus dx by dy both are same minus 1 by y dash now if you cross multiply how much you will get i replaced y dash as minus 1 by y dash and I cross multiplied y y dash is equal to minus 2x and after that y dash means dy by dx I wrote dy by y dash as dy by dx and I cross multiplied why because it is in the form of variable separable we can separate the variables that's why I separated the variables y dy is equal to minus 2x dx integrating integral y dy is equal to minus 2x dx y square by 2 is equal to minus 2 into x square by 2 plus c y square by 2 plus 2 to cancel 
x square is equal to c lcm is y square plus 2x square if you find lcm 2c is equal to c y square plus 2x square is equal to c which is this is the given which is the ot which is a required orthogonal trajectories